Hello everybody and welcome to episode 31 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where today, well, we get more into Ender I.O. and make us a powered spawner. Uh, it's not all fun and games, but let's uh, see how we do it. So we're hopping right into this here. Uh, the very first thing I would like to do is I think we should go over to the end. Or, no, no. First thing I would like to do is get some soul vials. Uh, uh, no, no. Not that type of vial. That type of vial. And to make these we need solarium ingots and fused quartz so the first thing we want to do is teach this fused quartz uh, which is an alloy recipe <coughs> uh, we'll, we'll just go with that recipe right now and to make the top we need the solarium which is also another alloy recipe gold and soul sand all right, so now we can uh, come in here to the alloy smelter and put those two in there. And we should be able to teach this uh, soul vials. Okay, so the reason why I want to get some soul vials is I would like to get some shulkers. and other stuff made with souls, but definitely shulkers <laughs> to start with. It's crafting up here, it's saying it's about 28 seconds. So let's go look at the, where is it? Oh, it's, no, uh, it's right there. So what is the issue? Is it not? There we go. It wasn't outputting to the top. I do not know why that was. All right. Uh, Ender. I have Ender here. And that's just to restore our cake a little bit. Take a little bit of these ender pearls with us. Uh, and we'll go looking for some shulkers. I know this main island doesn't have shulkers on it. That's why we've got to go out here into the far away places and uh, pull up the map. All right. I know we've been out here before, but apparently our map has reset. Ooh, beef. Uh, so give me a few moments to look around here and uh, I will be right back once we find a shulker in coming up to an end city here. It's a lot of lag on the system today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're going to see if we can figure up how to okay so you just right click it with an empty vial and you get a filled soul vial so let's make another soul vial get another one of these simple enough Steak 
while we're waiting. Oh, is that not in my loaded chunks area? Anyway, we know where uh, a, a village or a in city is. So let's press M and add a waypoint. Let's see here, settings. I, I don't know what waypoints are. Anyway, slash home. I keep forgetting that that's still classified as home, even though we're over here now. All right. Uh, thinking, thinking. Now, there is a reason why I needed these build shulker files. And it's to do with uh, soul bindings to make these precision crystals. Uh, what happened to all of our stuff over here? Okay. That and there. You know what? What is going on with this? <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with our system here. It might be server issues. Give me a moment to see if I can fix this before we continue onwards. Okay, for those that are wise in the audience, you guys probably noticed I clicked the JI bookmark. <clears throat> now, uh, I need to make a few of these items here. Uh, one of the first things we're going to need is a soul binder to, but to make the soul binder, we need a Z logic controller. To make the Z logic controller, we need a slice and splice. Uh, okay, so, and to make the slice and splice, you know, this is relatively easy enough. Let's uh, set these things up to automatically make them so we can you know, save our sanity. Uh, what is this stuff right here? Quartz dust? Crusher? Okay, so do we have a crusher already for us here? So this goes in here, this goes in here, this is for something else. Uh, we do not have a crusher, but does that absolutely need a crusher to make these? Thermal series. Uh, Okay, we could actually make it with the thermal series version. So we could make this into the thermal series. Let's grab this. And um, we 
use for this in the pulverizer. Where's the pulverizer? There it is. I want that recipe. And now we can put this into the pulverizer, which we have right there. And now we can put this in to this. I'm having problems right now clicking stuff because uh, my my mouse is a little bit messed up today. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, so now we can make all of that. So we should be able to make this. Uh, since we're going to need a good bit of it, we'll have it taught to the system. Uh, and... I'm double checking that, okay, and this is Ah, uh, you see what the issue is here? Push and pull. There we go. That's why we were having so much issues with it. All right, so now we can create one of these. And uh, let's see, what else do we need? We need to learn how to make the energized bitium uh, gears here. So let's first teach it the iron gears. So it knows the proper recipes. All right. Um, and this, which we're going to need more patterns. We burned through a lot of these. You burn through a lot more once you start getting towards the uh, end of the pack. So, like I was saying, we're closer to the end of the pack. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much more we've got. Uh... Okay, so we're getting the stuff that we need. There we go. Our slice and splice is ready. And now we have to set this up. Um, yeah, we'll set this up right here. We're going to get a uh, one of these energy cables from power apparently I don't have the nitros taught to this already <clears throat> um yeah you know how to make everything there, so. Create me 10. Uh, once we get those, okay. <clears throat> we'll get the slice and splice here. We need a capacitor. So, okay, 
and apparently we've not taught the system how to make the multiple ones of these, so that should not take too long to do. Basic double. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, double. Uh, is there just the mechanisms? Coal dust? Okay, so we need to teach it that. The octatic. All right, uh, let's see here after we get these in here. We're gonna get it. We're gonna need another pattern here shortly. <clears throat> Simple way of doing this is a sag mill, a mechanical squeezer, or a crusher. Since we don't have the crusher set up, but we do have a sag mill right here. We can take this sag mill with a couple pattern providers. Because sure, why not? Sag mill. Pattern providers. Okay, the sag mill already had its octatic uh, one and to do, do, do we're going to tell you to do not push crafting while previous crafting ingredients are in there wrench please to make sure i set these up properly all right Let's get the coal. Coal dust, there we go. Uh, sag mill. And if we teach it coal. Okay, so we'll change this down to one and one. And we're also going to change this from charcoal to coal. Okay. Now let's go into the sag mill because we've got to make sure that this is properly set up for this. Uh, push and pull on the top. There we go. So now... Why do we need the coal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, capacitor. That's it. Let's make an octatic capacitor. Okay. We'll stick that into the slice and splice there. It's getting power. And now... We are going to teach it how to make uh, a Z logic controller. Okay, we already know how to make the silicon. We know how to make the solarium. The zombie heads are going to be the tricky part for this. But what we'll do is we'll do this and. Uh, in a slice and splicer, we are going to need an axe. I think it is. Yeah, it's an axe and a pair of shears. And uh, if we get some dark matter and make dark matter shears. How do we make dark matter shears? No, it's a stupid easy... There we go. Those don't break. 
Uh, also, if we make an axe that doesn't break, so a all the modium axe. All right. So give me a second to get the stuff to make that, and I will be right back. About two minutes later, we've got the stuff here. We've got this axe, and it is indestructible. So we have two indestructible tools that we're going to put into the slice and slicer here. Okay, so now we're going to make sure we get this configured properly on top. We want it push and pull. Okay, so now we can teach the slice and splicer the Z logic controller, which we already have. Okay, so all we have to do is go to the slice and splice. I just like saying it. And if we look in here, we can go Z logic and say we want one, but we're missing zombie heads. What we need to make a zombie head, very simple. So uh, I was looking this up, it takes zombie essence and blank skulls blank skulls is soul dust and bone block which is easy enough to teach this i think we have i thought we taught it how to make soul dust <clears throat> uh, Okay, we're, we're close to teaching it how to make it. Uh, the thing is we don't have this going anywhere. So we have to do this manually. You know, turn that into smooth soul stone. Once this smooth soul stone gets done, toss it in, makes the dust. <clears throat> um, which, granted, we won't be needing a lot of it, so. Uh, I, I will have to get it taught to the system sooner than later. The other thing is we need to make the zombie seeds You've guys seen me make the zombie or uh, cow seeds. It's the exact same thing. I'll be back once that is done. Okay, now we're down here and we're going to set this guy up to do zombie seeds. Uh, okay, so. This will be the only one in here that doesn't have anything yet. So uh, what this is going to need is an insert on this. Okay. That, that adds the water. And okay, it needs an extract on this one. Because what it will do is take that out. And on this one, okay, it needs its basic seed, which is this, and some Fido Grow, which I need to go around here, grab one. And we'll create an insert with zombie seeds and Fido Grow that this is going to get. And yeah, I think that is it. So now, oh, it's also going to need to get power. So it's also going to need an insert here. 
Okay, so now we can uh, augment this up, put this in here, put those in there. Uh, and on the back, which is this one, we can do in and out. And we can see that there is no zombie seeds yet in this over here. So we'll just put the zombie seeds there. Should take it out. Should you do, um... Ah, there we go. Come on. Well, we'll just put them in there. We're going to get the zombie essence in here. Okay, so I do not understand what's going on. Zombie flesh, phyto grow, insert, enable blacklist, uh, I don't get this. I don't understand why this isn't working like it should be. All right, guys, give me a moment to figure it out and I will be right back once we've got enough zombie flesh to make the zombie heads. Okay, guys, I want to get uh, the soul stone here uh, into our system so we can make this stuff. Uh, we're going to have a pooler upgrade. We're going to set it to direction down. Put three of those upgrades in there. We're going to set this with the linking tool and lock it. And there we go. That That's done. Also, I add a cyclic. Uh, processor to this it keeps the at least one seed in here and yeah that is fine that is dandy <clears throat> um, next we're going to teach this how to make all of the uh, uh, parts to the skull or zombie head uh, zombie head here we go which it it should already know how to make the blank skulls recipe for the blank skulls again is these bone blocks which i'm not sure if we've taught it how to make there we go if we haven't let's see here bone blocks no we have not uh let's see here and soul dust so code this Encode this. Uh, put these in here. Put uh, these into like we're almost running out of spots. We'll have another set next episode. I'll make a pattern provider and put it down there. Connect it all. So now we can say zombie head. Okay. So it should be able to make every bit of this to make the Z-Logic controller, which we're going to need for shulkers. But while that's making this, we're going to uh, also get this to making this for us. The soul binder here. Let's 
just a few more seconds. There we go. We got us the Soul Binder. Uh, this is something that we'll probably not automate, but we will automate this power spawner. Uh, let's let's teach this how to make the vibrant crystals here, which is vibrant alloy nuggets. Which it looks like is our last two things we're going to need for this. Okay, so yes. Oh, we don't have that vibrant alloys taught to it. Okay, so let's teach vibrant alloys to this, which is super simple. Just goes into the alloy smelter. There we go. So now we can go powered spawner. But before we put in this broken zombie spawner here, uh, we're going to need to come down here. We're going to say place this, I said right here. Uh, we'll place it two away from this spot. Let's grab at least one of those. Um, grab a couple cables. All right. And put the cables down here. Soul binder here. Uh, we're going to need another octatic uh, capacitor. We're going to need two of them. We'll put this in here. We're going to put this broken spawner in one side. And in the other side, we're going to put this shulker thing. And it says the machine is not ready to work because it needs uh, essence or, or XP. Um, which, if I'm not mistaken, Ender IO has a. XP vacuum, which sucks up XP from stuff, but it used to have a, what you call it, a, a, a rod thing, Give me, uh, experience rod, there we go, and an experience obulus, ob, ob, mm, I can English. All right, got the rod here. Should be able to make everything here. We're gonna need another uh, casing. And what I can do with this is set this on top of here and store all my levels into it. Now, also with this, I can set the bottom to push, push uh, downwards. We can see it fills up the XP it needs. The machine is active. It's processing this, turning it into a shulker spawner, which is what we need. Uh, to make a powered spawner shulker and there's a there's a valid thing we need for this okay 
Okay, so there we go. We've got the shulker. We've got these empty soul vials here. So now we can go powered spawner. Make sure that it has the shulker one in it because we want this powered, powered spawner shulker. Whatever the broken spawner is, it will turn that into that particular powered spawner. So now we can set this down here. And as you can see here, it requires an octatic. Now we can do this. Uh, give me a second. Let's take this out. You used to be able to Uh, active with signal is be able to fill up soul vials with this. So give me a second to figure out why, why we can't fill up soul vials with this. Okay, guys, I do not know why that's going to do that. So what we're going to do is just, you know, make sure that it is only active with the signal we're going to add a lever to it uh, and this way when we need some shulkers we can come down here process this let it run you know shulkers will spawn in that area which a little bit is below this, so we have to occasionally check down here. Uh, but yeah, this should spawn. I do not know why we have why uh, it no longer has that. I might they might have taken it out with this new version. Um, which is kind of sad. I'm going to have to come up with a unique way of automating these. Because we need to turn these filled soul vials. Um, Uh, over to make these crystals, which takes vibrant crystals and soul files in this machine right here. So I'm going to, between uh, this episode and next, uh, capture, like, I'm going to say at least two stacks of them. And, uh, or at least a little bit of them. The reason why we need these is we need them for the induction smelter to make the unobtainium. So it was one step towards unobtainium. That's that's where we were headed today. But if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike. Tell me why you did down in the comments to help me out to get you guys better episodes. And until next time. Later, Gators.